So Higgs boson is asking, what's the deal now with the Sweden and Turkey on NATO membership? Should Turkey be kicked out of NATO given they don't uh, encompass Western values? So yeah, you can't do that. I mean, Turkey's membership in NATO is very problematic given that their values are crap um, and they are so selfish when it comes to their, and they don't play like a team player within NATO, right? They are constantly using their veto power in NATO to constantly bully other countries to have to submit to their crappy values. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, NATO can't be really NATO without Turkey. Um, Turkey's post- ge- geopolitical um, ge- position uh, right next to its access to the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea is crucial. It's crucial to NATO's um, yeah you know, t- uh, strategies, especially against Russia. Like, it's NATO without Turkey would be significantly less influential. Significantly. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, we need Turkey. The solution is not to kick out Turkey. The solution is to replace Erdogan, mm-hmm. right? So I'm hoping this whole um, economic model that Erdogan is having over the banks there, the Islamic model Erdogan mm. is forcing upon Turkey is going to eventually get, get him kicked out. Uh, because I'm suspecting whoever whoever replaces Erdogan is going to stop being this insane immediately. Like, yeah. Turkey has a lot of potential right now. A lot of potential right now. Right? And this, this maniac is destroying the economy by constantly reducing interest rates even though the country is suffering from inflation which is the opposite of what you're supposed to do just because his islamic views suggest to him he he admits this that this is because of his islamic views that interest is bad right and so an an entire country's economy is being taken hostage over some man's islamic views right and also now you can see that he's holding holding uh, sweden hostage sweden's membership in nato Hostage, which is again, I remind, may I remind you guys, more countries joining NATO is a, results in a safer world. This is good for the entire planet, especially right now, Finland and Sweden, right? Yeah. So this man is holding Sweden's membership in NATO hostage over Sweden, not giving two reasons now. Apparently, what the main one is Sweden not giving Kurdish um, activists to Turkey for them to. Um, in prison, or given that Turkey has doesn't have good standards over their judicial system, Sweden is like, well, this would be a human rights violation, and yeah, it would be. So Sweden has to have pick between um, going against their values, or um, you know, you know, or like not being safe, you know, not being safe, a safer country. So, so basically what Erdogan is doing is is holding the safety of all Swedish citizens hostage um at trying to get them to bend the knee to inferior t- uh, Turkish values so like would you give these people up for me to unjustify like to to per- to persecute uh with lower standards than your that that Euro- European countries have right would you give them to me or would your or would you rather your citizens be less safe? This mm-hmm. is like evil. This is like truly evil stuff, right? And also now that's one thing. And now because of the burning of the Quran, they're kind of suggesting that Sweden needs to go and arrest the guy, like stop the man who's burning the Quran, even though Sweden has free speech laws, free expression laws. What are you mm-hmm. supposed to do? They don't even have that power. They don't even, they can't even go arrest the guy. There's a man in public burning the Quran in front of Turkey's embassy. And Turkey is like, you need to go arrest the guy. And like, we can't do that. We don't have those laws here. This is a free country. So again, this is insane. So again, if if Turkey is actually suggesting that that's also part of their calculation, so they're making Swedish citizens less safe over pieces of paper. So Turkey is showing to the world that their priority is pieces of paper over the safety of people. It's It's insane. Yeah, yeah. And I, and it really is just because Turkey knows that they they are in a place where they, they can push this hard, right? This is what the whole problem with brinksmanship is, you know, is that you keep escalating and escalating and escalating, you know, to kind of get somebody to, to you know, uh, trip first, right? And then you get to go, oh, okay, good, we won, you know? Um, but yeah, the issue is that in the meantime, there's, you know, millions of people's lives that that really are 
you know, in the balance potentially. Um, and again, as you said, one of the big sticking points is that Sweden will not extradite certain individuals um, back to the Turkish courts. Um, and in my opinion, I think the compromise, considering, gosh, they're just so close to the Hague, aren't they? Why not make it international? Why not, why not agree to that, Turkey? You really want to see justice done and you're willing to do it and you're not, you're not just playing with people's lives as a pawn. Well then, set up an international court. We have some that are, that are very well respected. Do that, you know? So it is, I think it's, a, I, I think it's just a BS ploy and it's just because they know that they can do it. They're in a position where they know that they can hurt quite a lot of different countries um, just just simply by not stopping people um, who are trying to to you know run through Turkey and and get to other countries um, and it's you know it's not to say that they don't have a tough situation on the government side yes they of course they do absolutely they do um, I don't think that ever justifies you know being lax on human rights though right it's like just because your your country's in a tough economic or you know immigration spot I don't really feel like that's a good excuse to just not be a good person so but yeah i think vote them out i don't know exactly when the next turkish elections are. it's coming very soon oh okay it's good very That's, very soon well hopefully this yeah. year then, then this good. year then hopefully hopefully we we stop seeing and he's this. arresting his competition <laughs> Well, that's, you know, I thought I had read something like that, Armin. I just, I wanted to try to end on a, on a positive note, but uh, yeah. no, no, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look super great, so, but, you know, we're hopeful, we're still. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.